morning everybody guess what time it is noon nap time oh. <laughs> <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with me I wake up at five o'clock in the morning five o'clock it's like and I'm up up not just awake I'm up and I can't do a darn thing because I'm a smurf we're almost there with t-shirts guys we're at 28 shirts out of 50 Kevin's gonna work on the attic putting all the Halloween stuff away and all the other boxes he pulled out that we went through and I'm gonna take a nap okay okay so this is my project for today all of this stuff goes into the attic space plus stuff that's out in the hallway and a bunch that is in here so gotta keep this door closed so the critters aren't getting into the attic and that's kind of a tough one actually keep forgetting to leave it on closed all right this is the attic space. It's just a two by two foot opening. Ooh! I had to fix a little insulation here that was coming down. I just used some wire. I'm gonna cut that off and start piling stuff in. Okay. Okay, everybody, so... I got some mail and it says that it came to Val so it, it's to me it's not to the neighbors so let's yay another package hi Val I really think you need this enjoy your gift love Angie on YouTube <laughs> come on you can do it Another package! Ah, <laughs> of the Christmas stocking! <laughs> Something with a V on it! I can't believe you found something with a V on it! If only you can get it out of its packaging. I can. I'm just looking to see if there's a little flappy thing, like right here. That's a big stocking. Then you better do lots of stocking stuffers to fill it. I got some wood chips in the garage. <laughs> look! Oh, and look at the little tassel thingy on the end. Oh, thank you, Angie! A V! Yay! They do exist! They do <laughs> exist! Are you sure it isn't an A upside down? It's a V! <laughs> Why would you hang a stocking like this? Everything would fall out of it. But it looks like an A now. Yes, but it hangs <laughs> like this, so it looks like a V. All right, dear. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Okay, so the band room is starting to clean up. I got all the stuff that's supposed to go into the attic, into the attic. I have curtains I need to put up. But the next most important thing I have to do is fix the hole that I put in the wall when I was trying to chase the cats out. Yes, I put a hole in the wall. And amazingly enough, there is quite a space back here and I knocked the pea, a whole piece out and it's in there and I have to figure out how to get that out and uh, so I've got a couple of things with me really technical equipment this is a back scratcher that I'm going to try and 
pull it up the slope there. And I've got one of these things, and I have no idea why I have one of these things. It's been in the garage. It's a little grabber. So i got to get it on its side before I can grab it. And uh, then I can <clears throat> use the, the piece I knocked out to try to plug it back up. All right, so I got it out. And this is it. And since it got knocked in, it's actually bigger than the hole. So I'm a, I am going to have to trim this so that I could fit just the colored part in. Put some backing on here and uh, putty it up. Okay. Oh man, I'm wearing a red shirt in front of a red wall. Can anybody see me? Okay, the first step I'm going to do, I have to uh, um, put some backer into this wall so that I can attach the new plug to it. And I'm going to do that with just some screws and a couple of uh, furring strips. I like to use uh, plywood because it's easier to drive a screw into it without splitting the wood. I'm going to put one of these on either side. ready and a big enough piece that I'm not going to get really close to the hole and make sure you countersink that pretty good sure you don't lose the piece into the wall which is something I would do all right looks good Okay, so now I can leave that. I don't think the cats can get hit there. And what I need to do now is make it so that this will fit on here. I'll have to cut all this backing off there before I can uh, spackle over it. All right, so I've got my plug. I have to do a little... adjusting to get it in there and I have some pretty big holes top and bottom here but uh, I'm going to just attach this right now and I'll find something to fill in to support the uh, plaster around those edges. Okay, so what I did is I stuck a little craft paper in. I learned this from my father. Always have a, this stiff craft paper floating around. Just shoved it in here um, and uh, so the, the gaps and the spaces. I'm not gonna tape this because it's gonna make it bulgy. Okay, so what I have is plaster of Paris. Uh, you just mix this up with a little water and uh, this dries rock hard. Um, and I'm gonna spread this out as evenly as possible so that I don't have to do tons and tons of sanding. And believe me, the less you have to sand, the happier you're going to be. Um, I'm going, this gotta move quickly because this stuff dries very quickly. I will mix this up and I will apply it to the wall. Pretty solid. Plaster of Paris really doesn't shrink that much. Uh, I may have to put a little bit of joint compound on it to uh, to really make it nice and smooth, but it's ready to be sanded and painted. And uh, 
that's the end of this project. And that's also the end of uh, today's vlog. Val's not feeling well. I'm not going to bother trying to wake her up for this. So, I yeah, hope you enjoyed hanging out with us. Valerie finally got a V. V for Valerie. Not Vendetta, although I know you all you guys out there seem to want to get her to get me back for some reason that I don't quite understand. But, um, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up uh, and uh, share it with all your friends and family. And we will see you tomorrow.